More than 1,500 government and commercial buildings were damaged, 765 cars and emergency vehicles were burned, and almost 3,000 weapons were stolen. At a meeting in the Marjolis of the Kazakh parliament, Kazakhstan's prosecutor General Berik Asilov reported on the results of the investigation into the January events. The organizers acted with a clear plan. Riots broke out in 11 regions on January 4th, 5th. While some were looting shops, other armed criminals seized the buildings of state structures, the National Security Committee, the police the president's residence and other strategic objects. The aggressors were extremists, criminal gangsters and radicals, Beri Kasilov emphasized. Начались погромы, поджоги. As soon as pogroms and arsons began, armed radicals made use of this chaos, staged targeted attacks on various objects. That today we see a mixture of extremism, crime and radicalism. Without decisive actions of the state, the wave of unrest could be followed by a violent seizure of power. At the same time, we can say that all the actions were well coordinated. It's obvious that the rally was planned. The prosecutor general noted that multi-billion dollar damage was caused to citizens, businesses and the state, and the ultimate goal of the act was the seizure of power. Moreover, according to Beri Kasilov, the security forces tried to contain the violence and did not use weapons to the last, but got along only with non-lethal means, rubber bullets, tear gas and stun grenades.